We in Germany, we have the National Registry for Marginal Zone Lymphoma. It's a prospective uh, registry, again, academic uh, registry for all comers. So you can include, uh, or we include all marginal zone lymphoma patients independent, you know, whether they are watch or wait or first line treatment or later lines of treatment. Um, the quality of data is quite high because we also do reference pathology in all cases to be really sure that we include marginal zone lymphoma patients. And um, so this registry has now included over 800 patients and we summarized at this meeting our first analysis um, about the patient characteristics um, and the treatment landscape in, in Germany. Um, so, um, so what we have seen are quite also interesting biological phenomena. So for instance, monoclonal gammopathy, we have seen in more or less every third patient with marginal zone lymphoma being particularly high in nodal marginal zone lymphoma, where we have seen monoclonal gammopathy in uh, more or less every second patient. So I think it's a very interesting observation. Uh, what we have seen is the PFS, the medium PFS as known is, is, is excellent with over 12 years also the overall survival, and we didn't see any major differences between different uh, subtypes of marginal zone lymphoma. Um, so when we look at the treatment landscape, the most frequently used uh, treatment regimens or treatment concepts, let's, let's say were immunochemotherapy, single agent or local treatment. Um, when we look at systemic treatment immunochemotherapy, um, most of the patients, over 70%, were treated with rituximab bendamustin, around 20% uh, with ARCHOP. So illustrating that such a prospective registry is an excellent tool to learn more about uh, patient characteristics or biological characteristics. I mentioned the monoclonal gammopathy, but also to understand the treatment landscape um, we have in different, um, in let's say, certain individual uh, uh, regions um, in Europe. They might differ between countries here for Germany and um, such registries will also help to understand how treatment landscapes are changing with the emergence of new particular chemotherapy-free approaches.